Steve Patterson here from Photoshop Essentials. And here are some tips and tricks you can use to see less of Photoshop's interface and more of your image, including how to hide the interface completely using screen modes. I'm using Photoshop 2024, but any version will work. So I've zoomed in on this image to 100%. So the image is now larger than the viewable area. We could be seeing more of the image if the interface wasn't in the way. So let's look at some ways to hide the interface. But before we go any further, notice in the tab area that I have other documents open as well. And I just want to show you that you can cycle through your open documents from the keyboard by pressing Control Tab. That's the Control key on both Windows and Mac. So if I press Control Tab once, I move to my second image. And if I press Control Tab again, I move to the third image. To cycle backwards through your documents, add the Shift key. So I'll press Control Shift Tab to move back to my second image and then Control Shift Tab again to go back to the first image. The reason I'm pointing this out is that knowing how to move through your documents from the keyboard is an essential skill when you hide the interface and can't see the tabs. And we'll look at this again when we get to Photoshop's screen modes. But if you just want to hide some of the interface, you can hide the toolbar along the left, the options bar at the top, and the panels along the right by pressing the Tab key. You'll still have the menu bar at the top and your document tabs, but you'll have a lot more room to see the image. You can hold the space bar on your keyboard to access the Hand tool and drag the image around. Press the Tab key again to bring back the toolbar, the options bar, and the panels. And you can hide just the panels along the right by pressing Shift Tab and then press Shift Tab again to bring them back. So let's look at Photoshop's screen modes. By default, Photoshop is in what's called the standard screen mode, and that means we see the entire interface, including the toolbar, the options bar, the menu bar, and the panels. It also means we see things related to the document itself, including the tab area, the scroll bar along the right and the bottom, and the status area in the bottom left, which shows us details about the document. But if you go up to the View menu and choose Screen Mode, you'll see that there are actually three screen modes to choose from. There's the standard screen mode that we've been using, but we also have two full screen modes, a full screen mode with menu bar and just the full screen mode itself. And you'll find these same options in the toolbar. The screen mode icon is the one at the very bottom. And if you press and hold on it, you'll see the same standard screen mode, full screen mode with menu bar, and full screen mode. Notice that they all share the same keyboard shortcut, the letter F. So you can switch between them from your keyboard. But we'll come back to that in a moment. Right now, I'm in standard screen mode. But keep an eye on the interface elements that have to do with the document itself. So the tab area, the scroll bars, and the status area. If I switch from the standard screen mode to the second option, full screen mode with menu bar, all of those document elements disappear. We still have the toolbar, the options bar, the menu bar, and the panels, but nothing related to the document itself, which gives us more room for the image. If you want to hide the interface completely, you can switch to the third option, full screen mode. You may see a warning pop up that in full screen mode, the panels are hidden, but just go ahead and click the full screen button. And now we're still in Photoshop, but the image takes up the entire screen. And again, you can hold the space bar on your keyboard to access the hand tool and pan the image around. Now, even in full screen mode, you can still bring back the interface at any time. If you press the Tab key on your keyboard, you'll bring back the toolbar, the options bar, and the panels. And on a Windows PC, you'll also bring back the menu bar. On a Mac, the menu bar does not appear. But you'll still have access to everything else. So you can switch to a different tool, choose different options, 
or change the settings in the panels. And then to hide everything, press the Tab key again. If you press Shift Tab, you'll bring back just the panels on the right. And then press Shift Tab again to make them disappear. And here's another way to work in full screen mode. If you hover your mouse cursor near the left edge of the screen, you'll show the toolbar, so you can select a different tool, and then move away from the edge to hide it. And if you hover near the right edge of the screen, you'll show the panels, then move away to hide them. Earlier, we saw that if you have multiple documents open, you can cycle through them from your keyboard by pressing Control tab and that still works even in full screen mode. So if I press Control tab once, I move to my second image. I can press Control one or Command one on a Mac to zoom in to 100%, and I can hold the space bar to drag the image around. I'll press Control tab again to move to my third image, and then Control one or Command one to zoom to 100%, and I'll hold the space bar to pan it around. If I want to view the entire image again, I can press Control-0 or Command-0 on a Mac. And you can cycle backwards through your documents by adding the Shift key. So pressing Control-Shift-Tab takes me back to my second image, and then the first. So now that we're in full screen mode, how do we get out of it? Well, one way is to press the Escape key on your keyboard, and that takes you back to the standard screen mode. And if you're still not seeing the entire interface, press the Tab key to restore the toolbar, the options bar, and the panels. And finally, you can use that keyboard shortcut, the letter F, to quickly cycle through the screen modes. So if I'm in standard screen mode and I press F, I switch to the full screen mode with menu bar. And if I press F again, I switch to the full screen mode. And if you press F one more time, you'll exit full screen mode and return to the standard screen mode. And here's one last tip. You can cycle backwards through the screen modes by adding the shift key and pressing F. So if you want to jump from the standard screen mode directly to full screen mode, you don't need to go through the full screen mode with menu bar to get there. You can just go backwards. So in standard screen mode, hold shift and press F to jump straight to full screen mode. Then to exit full screen mode, press F on its own to return to the standard screen mode. Again, that's shift F to go to full screen mode and then press F to exit out of it. And there we have it. That's how to use screen modes and other tricks to see more of your image and less of the interface in Photoshop. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Photoshop tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I'm Steve Patterson from Photoshop Essentials.